Howdy folks. Well, we're sitting here at uh, South Jetty, Washington. We just finished up our summer at uh, on the Pacific Northwest. And this is our last day. It's been beautiful temperature, beautiful weather. And we're headed to Nevada tomorrow. We have, well, we have one more stop at Bend tomorrow night and then probably a night in Idaho and then up to our daughters in uh, Spring Creek, Nevada. And going to Reno and old, old Sacramento. My understanding is up like 100 degrees or something up there. So we're enjoying today, but it's going to get hot soon for a couple of days and then we're going, going to go find some cooler weather somewhere. But uh, here's our August numbers. And let me kind of start in with uh, our mile. We only drove 400 miles in August, which is pretty good. We moved three times from uh, La Conner to uh, Pacific City and then here to South Jetty. <clears throat> so we had all 31 nights and 1,000 trails. And for those of you that don't know, 1,000 trails is a membership group that uh, you join. There's several different kind of uh, ways to join. But basically, you get to, once you join, you camp for free. We pay $600 a month, a year, $600 a year annual dues. And we amortize that out through the years, like $51 a month or something we've got in for our expenses. But the bottom line is no camp fees this month or last month. So that makes, we have a average cost of $8 for campsite this month, which seems odd. But the reason is that is there's two more clubs we're members of. Uh, RPI is another membership group. It's $160, and that allows us to stay at there's several hundred campgrounds. We can stay at for $10 a night, up to two weeks uh, per place. We haven't stayed in one of them yet. We just joined it this month. So we uh, stuck all of that in for this month, $160, and then we are a escapees membership. I think that's 40 bucks a month. And we paid that in August. We didn't amortize that out either. So that equaled uh, $8 a uh, night for this month. So that makes our, for these three months, our average cost is uh, 808 nightly cost. And in June, we had quite a few nights where we're spending 50 or $60 up at Kelso. And then in uh, July was just our uh, thousand trails fee. And then this month, our thousand trails RPI and escapees. Diesel fuel zero cost. We filled up uh, the 1st of September, so we're sitting here with a full tank, but for August, we didn't have to buy any. So uh, it was pretty expensive. You can see $700 we spent in diesel in July and 200 in June, but none this month. So our, uh, just, just something we run is our daily average fuel cost. $13, then $21, zero this month, but so far the three months we've been full time is $11.50. So both of these two numbers, we're hoping we can bring down over the next, by the end of the year, substantially. Uh, as I mentioned, diesel fuel is zero. Campsites, we've got uh, escapees, 40 bucks, and RPI for 160 bucks. Is what makes that up. Plus the $51 for a uh, thousand trails. Motorhome repairs, just some light bulbs and odds and ends that we had to buy for the motorhome. Auto and gas, that's all. For gasoline we did a lot of driving around uh, in August going up to Canada and stuff RV and auto insurance we uh, amortize both those out for the year we pay them in June and Ju or July and August I think it is but uh, six is like twelve hundred fifty dollars for the RV we pay and uh, nine hundred bucks for the car or something like that so anyway that's 175 we have that every month Groceries, that's groceries and liquor, and pretty much anything we buy at the grocery store goes into groceries. That's 800 bucks. Dining out, 200 bucks. We've been running to right around $200 for dining out, about average. Internet and cell phone, we, a lot of thousand trails, they have uh, internet in the uh, clubhouse, but not out in the sites. So you have to pretty much have your own internet if you want internet, and we use the internet more than TV. We hadn't had TV for several weeks. Just, uh, yeah, about two weeks. If you're in a site with a lot of trees, sometimes you can't get your satellite receiver to uh, pick it up. Uh, no big deal. But then still, the, ex the expenses there. For, but our cell phones, well, I was going to say, we have unlimited with Verizon. 
you know, that's $145 a month, $147 a month. And it works pretty good. Direct TV, $131. We, that seems crazy expensive, but we just like having, been having access to the news and to TV channels and stuff. We don't use it that much, but we have it set up at our home, which is really our daughter's home. So they have it all the time. And then when we're there, we have it. That's where our account is based out of. And then when we travel, we take our uh, mobile antenna with us. Plus we have one on top of the RV. So it, it pays out. They get to use it all the time and we use it when we can uh, see the southern sky. Medical, that's our Medicare and our uh, Part D. Pet care, Pearl had the Tinker trimmed, washed and trimmed up a couple of weeks ago. That's 60 bucks, and I'm not sure what the... Oh, we bought a another pen. So we have two pens in the campground to put together. So it shouldn't have to be on the chain all the time. Uh, this was a big one. We bought us a new camera, a Canon 7 G7X, and some accessories. That was some hundred bucks. Uh, we didn't cost that o that over the year. Uh, big enough for probably we might could have, but uh, we didn't. Uh, last month we bought an iPad, and then uh, the month before that we bought a drone. That's fifteen hundred bucks. We costed that out to the end of the year, two hundred bucks, two hundred something dollars a. Uh, month for seven months it's kind of hard to figure out what we should cost out and what we go ahead and take the hit on but uh, uh, we took the hit on the camera this time uh, computers we didn't uh, buy put anything there clothing I mean Pearl's always got to buy our souvenir t-shirts and her whatnots and then uh, our daughter sending us the mails five bucks or thereabouts we have everything sent to her we don't use a forwarding service but our daughter, thank, thank, uh, thank you very much, Melissa, for uh, letting us send everything to the house, and then she s scans it to us and mails it to us. So we're running this month 3,200, even counting buying that camera. Last month was 37, and last month was 38. Uh, so here's some monthly monthly averages for the three months, averaging 3,600. And here's something I want to start tracking. Our uh, Daily average expense is $117. That seems higher than I thought, but you think 365 days a year, $100 a day, that's 36,000 and 40,000 is kind of our target number. Uh, we was up a little bit, uh, quite a bit in uh, June and July, so it started to come down in August. Hopefully we can get that down a little bit lower, but you never know. I know next month we have to buy a couple of tires for the car. That's going to be six or 700 bucks. So, I don't know if these numbers help you any, but uh, that's what we're spending. And it seems to be a good number for the averages of what we hear from the people out there that's been doing this a whole lot longer than our three months. Thirty to forty thousand dollars and we're hitting right on the high end of that forty and wouldn't be surprised if we don't crack over it a little bit. Although, when we get for winter, we won't be traveling much and we'll be staying longer. So maybe we'll stay under 40. So I hope that helped you. And uh, that's all I got for you. See you next month.